In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature built into a number of modern day wireless routers called Wi-Fi Protected Setup, or as it's more commonly referred to, WPS. You probably have already noticed the WPS button on the side of your Synology router. If I lift up this Synology RT1900AC, the WPS button is situated on the left side of the router, close to the Wi-Fi on-off switch. As WPS will be enabled when you set up your router, we really need to take a closer look at the WPS settings. To do this, we need to log on to the Synology Router Manager, or SRM. To access the SRM, you will need to enter the IP address of the router into a web browser. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1. When you log into the SRM, you will need to select Network Center. Within Network Center, you need to select the option Wireless. You will now see a series of tabs, Wi-Fi, WPS, Guest Network, and Mac Filter. We're going to select WPS. At the top of the window, you're provided with a description of what WPS does. Basically, WPS was created as a standard by the Wi-Fi Alliance in 2006. The Alliance wanted to create a protocol that allowed home users with little or no understanding of Wi-Fi security to easily add new devices to their network without having to enter long passwords. So, how does WPS actually work? Luckily, Synology provides us with a diagram to explain WPS. WPS is a three-stage process. First, we have to press the WPS button on the router, or this WPS button. Then we need to press the WPS button on the device we wish to connect to our wireless network. The final step is to have the two devices automatically linked together. If a device does not have a WPS button, you can easily enter this PIN number into the device that you want to connect to your wireless network. The connecting device will generate a counter code, which you enter here. You then simply click the register button to connect the device to your wireless network. All very simple. However, in 2011, a major security flaw was identified which would allow a remote attacker to find out a router's WPS PIN number, thus making the security of WPS useless. As the general public were advised to disable WPS, manufacturers also stopped adding WPS as a feature to their wireless devices. While making this video, we could not find a single wireless device that we owned that uses WPS. So we recommend that, like us, you disable WPS on your Synology router.